Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Marissa Explains It All, and today I am showing you how to make this gorgeous flower wall. So I had a great time making this. I made this years ago for a Galentine's Day event. If you've watched Parks and Rec, it's a reference to the show where some of the closest girlfriends get together and celebrate your friendship. And so we do that actually twice a year. We have a Friendsgiving event and then we also do Galentine's Day. So it's just a really special time of year um, where we can show love for each other and our fellow ladies. It was my turn to host the first one, and of course, me being extra and like over 9,000 with all my party planning and crafting, I made this whole flower wall because I really wanted us to have a really pretty place um, to have a backdrop and just to have a place to take selfies, and we recorded ourselves singing and being silly, and it was a great time. This has been a great backdrop to have for my baby showers when I'm hosting. Um, people just love it. It just looks so fresh and so pretty. Um, so if you want to learn how to make this, then stay tuned. Okay, so let's talk materials. First, you'll need some poster board, and I do get this at the Dollar Tree. And I'll tell you how many panels that you'll need in just a minute. Um, you'll also need some flowers. I actually couldn't find the spring flowers when I first came into the Dollar Tree, and I was like, what the heck, where did they go? And so I can only find the fall section since it's fall now, or just about to be fall. And uh, I actually, as I was checking out, I realized that they had put all the spring stuff in a different section of the store. So I guess I could have put everything back and gotten the spring stuff, but I thought this was actually kind of a pretty mixture to do. Um, so I went with a fall sort of uh, color theme. You can do, of course, any color that you like, and I'll tell you how many you need in just a minute. You'll need glue sticks. I've got a whole ton here, of course. Uh, you don't just need three. That's like a little misleading. So <laughs> I've got a bunch of glue sticks here. And of course, my handy dandy glue gun. And then the other thing you will need is a pair of scissors. Uh, the poster boards measure 20 inches wide by 30 inches long. So it depends on how big your wall is or how big the space is that you want to cover. And so I ended up doing uh, eight panels of these and you just kind of stack them, you know, um, side by side and all the way up the wall. And so I think I did a grid of, I think I did four by two to make eight. And so I just kind of did, you know, one, two, three, four by two and just made a big panel. And when you uh, put them on the wall, you can't really tell that you know, there's a seam or anything, they go together really well. So I would just measure your wall and figure out how many panels you might need given the fact that these are 20 by 30. Okay, so in terms of flowers, I have found that you need, basically this is just, I consider this a bloom, you will need uh, roughly 10 blooms to cover the, the width here and you'll need about 14 to cover the length. So you'll need 140 of these individual blooms to cover one panel roughly, I mean, give or take a couple, um, because every flower, of course, is a different, you know, shape and size. So, first step in doing these flowers is to take them off of the stems, and so this is super easy. I'm just going to start with one bunch, and I will just pop the tops off of them. And the, I don't need the leaves. Uh, I do keep this part on, this little um, sort of part that holds it together. I don't use the leaf, but I do use that, you know, this part. So I'll take these. And there you go, you're left with an empty stem that you can discard or maybe even use the, uh, the greenery for something else. Sometimes I've used these leaves for other things. And so I actually used a mixture this time of daisies and um, dahlias. I'm just kind of putting the little tags out here. Daisies, dahlias, is that upside down? Might be. <laughs> and some mums. I did use some chrysanthemums. Again, I'm going for a fall look this time, but uh, I went with a spring look for the other flower wall. And for the other flower wall, if you're looking for that really pretty, like light baby shower bridal type look, I would go with a lot of peonies and roses, and then some other flowers to sort of fill in the difference. But generally I stuck to white peonies, pink peonies, some blush colored or peach peonies. I stuck with white roses. Um, and then there were some little tiny things that I used to fill in, like um, I think there were some dahlias in there, and you can just kind of look on the tag to see what you know what type of flower it is. So these are a little small. I would probably generally stick away, like stay away from buying ones that are so small because they won't cover as much of a surface area as a larger one like that. So you know I don't mind just kind of filling in some pieces with that, but I wouldn't buy a ton of the tiny ones like that because then you'll be buying a ton more. <laughs> it's going to make your costs go up even more. 
So once you're done stripping all your flowers, um, I would go ahead and cut off the stems. And so you can see here, there's like a little stem um, and you don't really want that to be here because it won't allow you to glue it very well to the, the board. You'll see that it, um, once you start to try to do it, it'll get, go, you know, kind of doesn't lay flat. It needs to lay flush. And so I do take and cut each of those off so that it is flush and it can sit nicely on, on that board. I'm gonna go ahead and plug in my hot glue gun and I'll be back to do the rest. Here are all of my flowers. They are all pulled off the stems and they are all clipped and so they all have this nice flat um, bottom. So I'm ready to hot glue. Um, I just counted and I did buy 25 stems. And so that, you know, 25 times the five or six blooms that are on each is maybe 125 to 140. So I'm a little bit light, but I'm hoping that I can kind of make these stretch and maybe put a little more space in between each one rather than packing them so tightly and get away with the total cost of about uh, 25 or $26 per panel. So that is my goal today. We will see if I can stick to that. <laughs> All right, so this is the fun part. This is the creative part. Um, so basically just kind of sweep them all to one side and you can place them in however order, you, you know, whatever order you like. Um, sometimes people like to lay them out and have like a set color pattern and sometimes people kind of want to be a little bit more random about it. And so I usually like to plot things out pretty well, but I am feeling in the mood to be adventurous today and I don't, uh, I think I'm gonna take a chance and just do it randomly. And I'm going to go ahead and put another stick and get to gluing. Once you've had all your flowers on the panel, you'll want to kind of go in and fill any bare spots. And so I can see a little bit, you know, I, I kind of can see some poster board here and there, like this looks like a little bare spot. And so I've actually saved some of the smaller blooms that I had um, for that purpose. So I'm going to take some of these smaller ones and just kind of fill in the pieces where I want a little bit more color, more coverage, and then make sure the edges are covered too because um, you want to hide the seams on the edges so that you know, you're not seeing one board against another board. You want them to kind of overhang so that when you um, place one board against the other, you really don't see the edges. All right, this is it. It looks cute. And surprisingly, I was able to do, um, you know, the whole board with 25 bunches of flowers. So if I were you guys, if you like the way that this is looking and this is enough coverage for you and it doesn't need to be too tightly packed together, then I would actually buy 25 bunches of flowers per board. Um, I'm gonna go see if I can find a place to set this up and maybe put some fall decor with it. And I'm looking forward to displaying this in my house this fall. So that's the whole tutorial. As you can see, it was quick and easy to do and relatively cost effective compared to the ones that you can buy in like Michaels or online and Amazon. I like that this is modular and you can put up panels and make it as big as you want and make whatever configuration or shape you want. So hopefully you like this video. If you did, please consider hitting subscribe and I will talk to you next time. Bye guys. Well, there's an interference in the playing field here. <laughs> Sasha. What you doing, BB? Say hi. You gonna say hi to everybody? <clears throat> These are your fans? Are you gonna help me put this together? Yeah, I didn't think you were gonna help me glue this, huh? <laughs>